Hey everybody, welcome back to RPG Imaginings. I am sitting in the parking lot waiting for my dentist appointment in the morning in about 10 minutes and so I thought I would just do a quick little fast uh, spoiler-free review of Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves, which I know is a topic of interest for many people in the community, both from the positive end of the spectrum to neutral to negative. And uh, so my short uh, review of the Dungeons & Dragons movie is that that it is a charming action comedy and um, it has heart and uh, that really surprised me. Um, I thought many of the characters were good and well acted. I thought that it captured the flavor of what Dungeons and Dragons is like at some tables. Now obviously everybody's tables are different and this is an example where I agree with uh, Scott uh, Orcus Dorcas uh, in that um, the focus of this movie is on rule of cool, for sure. And so if you are going into the movie ready to, dis to uh, dissect whether every little thing that happens on screen is aligned with the rules of Dungeons and Dragons, well, you've predetermined that you're going to have a bad outcome on that. Because one, that's not how films work, okay? Um, there's been this really interesting and also, for me, unnerving trend over the last 25 years or so. Uh, and I agree with the way what Scott calls it of hate-watching movies that there seems to be this sense of entitlement where people feel like Hollywood should be making movies for them personally. And that's never been the case. Hollywood has always made movies to make money. <laughs> and uh, that means that there are always going to be people in which a movie is not perfectly aligned with what their preconceptions are. So if you are going into this Dungeons and Dragons movies expecting it to follow what you expect it to be, there are going to be aspects of it where you're going to be disappointed. And frankly, that was preordained before you even set foot in the theater. Uh, if you go into this open-minded, I think that you're going to be surprised. I've heard the movie compared to a Marvel movie, and it very much is. Um, but that doesn't mean that it that it doesn't have an, an interesting theme and that there aren't heartwarming elements to it. I was personally surprised at the humor. I expected the humor to be a lot cheesier than it actually was. I think that it was fairly subtle. Uh, one of the other things that I liked about the movie is the way that it handled fan service, which this is an example of something that I think that the recent Star Wars movies, even though I like the recent Star Wars movies, have gotten wrong in that when Star Wars does fan service recently, it's been a lot of like lingering on the shot and it's like, oh, look, hey, look, everybody, fan service. See it? It's right there. Hey, we'll give the character some dialogue so you can be assured that you see the fan service. The fan service was a lot more subtle in this movie and I appreciated it and it didn't detract from the story. Uh, so as I said, you know, many good performances, I thought, um, it's difficult with an ensemble cast to feature all the characters throughout the film, and so some characters get more of an arc than others do. Uh, that tends to happen with an ensemble cast. Uh, cool action. Um, and so, yeah, I, uh, if you are curious and neutral and are open-minded, I would recommend that you go see the movie, because I do feel like it captures the feel of what it's like to play at... Uh, role-playing table that focuses on rule of cool and story. Um, another example of scenes, spoiler-free, is that there are a lot of scenes where the characters are trying to figure out how they're going to solve a particular quandary, and uh, the sort of brainstorming that goes on at a role-playing table is what happens in the movie, and as I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, that is what happens at a role-playing table. Um, if you're going into this movie determined to hate it, spoiler alert, you're going to hate it. There's no way you're not going to find things that you hate. I don't understand why people hate watch movies. Okay? I, it's kind of sad to me that you can't enjoy yourselves. But do you, I guess. Um, if you're refusing to see this movie because of what has happened recently with Watsi, I support you. 
Okay, don't don't do something that you you know you you can't uh, live with or that you want to send a message to the company that you're not going to support them after the OGL debacle. Um, and uh, yeah, and so there's my short little spoiler-free review of Dungeons and Dragons: Honor Among Thieves. I enjoyed it much more than I thought I would, and uh, I think that that says a lot um, because. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go get my teeth cleaned, and y'all have a great day. I will post this sometime this morning. Bye-bye.